Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's First One Series here, back in another video. It's NBA 2K20 Oklahoma City Thunder Mind League episode number 6. And as you can see here, we are going to be trading four first round picks for uh, Bradley Beal along with Gallinari. Actually, no, we're going to do three in a second round pick. So we got a lot of those first round picks. We're making moves, all right? And here we are also going to be trading for Evan Turner. And then we're going to be trading for Blake Griffin. This is my mind league. I'm doing whatever the heck I want with it. And I'm getting Blake Griffin. All right, we're turning this team around. We're making a big three, actually kind of like a big four in Oklahoma City. They agreed to that offer. You can see here's what we did. We traded uh, Exception, Turner. It took a lot to be able to find that money. We're also going to be getting a new assistant coach. I had to get Trent Peterson. Um... Yeah, so we're also going, here's the roster, what it looks, what it's looking like right now. Uh, actually, the rotation I'll show you guys. So, CB3 31, Sean Guild is 36, Bradley Beal 36, Lake Griffin 36, uh, Adams 31, and uh, Schroeder 30. He's going to be that, you know, that six man still. So you guys can kind of quickly, you know, see that if you want to. We're taking on the Philadelphia 76ers without Al Horford uh, in today's video. And this is a very tough matchup for us. And uh, here's the interview. The Oklahoma City Thunder has moved up the rankings defensively year after year. Coach Billy Donovan said, I've said it all along. We've got to be a team that hangs our hat on defense. And with their size and athleticism, there's no reason they can't be the best defense in the league. Kevin? And they bring that physicality. Thank you, David. Let's get this game on the uh, on the road here, I guess. And uh, we're going to see how this new team debuts. CB3 and Blake Griffin reunited. Uh, Bradley Beal, you know, joining a couple superstars here in Oklahoma City Thunder. We have to pull off these trades because, you know, we're not going to be able to sign anybody in free agency. So uh, we had to use this first round pick. So I don't want to be a contender now. And Steve Nash is going to start his game with a bucket. So I really wanted to get Bradley Beal on this team, even when Russell Westbrook and, you know, PG were here. I really wanted that to happen as Griffin's going to find uh, Adams who's wide open there. But so that's why I did that trade. Hopefully, you guys like that idea. And uh, I really, I like Blake Griffin a lot. I really do. And I want him to return to Oklahoma. That's uh, where he's from, I believe. So Bradley Beal is going to fly in there for the layup and I think Beal would be a great fit he's gonna have to get out of Washington so uh, we did trade a lot but I think it makes sense kind of but obviously I don't think the Pistons will be trading Blake Griffin quite yet ball an elite defensive player uh, a student of the game for sure talks about his knack for making a lot of steals forcing turnovers uh, the steals thing is just something that I've always had a knack for doing and just uh, I think it's because I watch so much basketball and I very much would have liked to add Derrick Rose to the team, but the salaries just weren't going to work because there's a nice acrobatic lay from Deontay Burton. Um, so, you know, because, you know, the Pistons are good. They're a playoff team. So, especially, you know, if Lakers stays healthy, you got Derrick Rose on the team. Kind of running back from last year's Burton with another steal. He's going to go in for the vicious left handed slam. Great play from Deontay Burton. Little spark plug off the bench for us. And I kind of love Deontay Burton. And, uh, yeah, so James Ennis here is going to get swatted away. Burton is going to try to run in transition. He's going to look for Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder, as Josh Richardson guarding him, they have a lot of great defense. They really didn't, especially with Al Horford, who they didn't, I, you know, they didn't even have. So this team is good. The Sixers are really good, especially defensively. So uh, there is a hard foul there. Burton's going to get to the line. And now Burton again going to try to run the offense behind the back over Thibel. Now we're going to look for Darius Baisley, but instead Burton's going to fly on in for the two handed slam and hopefully Burton can, you know, can continue to dominate here even with some of these new uh, additions on the team so all we did we basically kind of got Gallo for um, you know Blake Griffin and then we got uh, Roberson for Beals so kind of an upgrade overall and Beals not a terrible defender either so he's, you know, he's pretty decent so we're still going to be great defensively I think Griffin is definitely an upgrade over Gallinari defensively. So, and he can match up with quite a few people, you know, big men, uh, or even you know some small forwards. This is a great block by Jalen Well on uh, Joel Embiid, and now Shooter is going to try to take it all the way. Hops up, finds Shy Gill to try to give it to the taller guy there, and he scores. Uh, even though it's heavily contested now, Ben Simmons Green by Shy Gill is you know in the paint there. So they have a lot of good defense. The Sixers really do. Even like I said, without Al Horford, here we are at halftime up by seven. And uh, we're shooting a little bit better than them, and we're doing pretty much everything except bullet for blocks better than them. Shy Gill is nasty crossover step back. Oh my gosh, Shy Gill just okay. Now he's gonna find Griffin. Griffin misses, 
but Steve Nams is there for the putback. He's got uh, six and two uh, here in this game. So now Bradley B. We're trying to find something for him, but he's being guarded by Josh Richardson, who's an excellent defender. So it's really hard to get these guys going. Although my, the only really matchup I have right now is Blake Griffin, as he hangs, fires, and scores. And that's you know Tobias Harris, the starter, being guarded. I and mean, there's a nice pet steal from CB3, CB3 up top to Griffin for the alley oop slam. Lob City is officially back, and it's in Oklahoma City now. It's Griffin throws it down. Now I know there's, there's there was a rumor that you know CB3 and Griffin really like each other. Uh, I think you know that, that may be true just at the end, but Griffin buries the three from outside, showing off the range that he has now. And here's some screenshots of these new guys and just CB3 as well. So. Um, they're, they're just gonna be their thumbnail. Basically, uh, guarded by Mike Sky, he's gonna try to take it all the way, and instead he's gonna find Erlinson Well, who slams that one with authority. And we're only up by four here. Shooter's trying to find a lane. Now he's gonna find Noel outside, and he's gonna get that mid range shot to go down. He's got his second bucket of the game. Steve Nabs trying to get back in transition. There's Tybal in the corner for three. He hits it. This guy was insane. My Tyus Thibel was out of Washington. I liked him. I don't like him anymore, okay? This guy is some freaking cheese in this game. He was ticking me off. He's got lockdown takeover. He couldn't miss from three. You're going to look at the box score, and it's going to shock your mind how good this guy is. You're going to look at his ratings, and you're going to be like, wow. And I'm going to be like, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, that was, that was yeah, never mind about that. But anyway, Richardson ahead to Thibault because he's open. And, you know, Thibault's freaking insane. They're 16-2 run by the 76. I was getting really pissed off here, but... Um, CB3 now is going to do a nice crossover. We're going like, to try to find Bradley Beal, but unfortunately just was not there. Now, Steve Nams gets the shot to go. Very nice finish there. Contact finish. We're down by two. <laughs> We're doing that bad. Joel Embiid's trying to take the ball off the court here. We're going to try to get a steal. I don't know if we will be able to. And unfortunately, we can't. So, Bias Harris guarded by uh, Bradley Beal. And now, almost an and one there by Joel Embiid. Now, here's Griffin. He's going to look for Steve Adams, who throws it down the left hand. Big play as we're down by one. Great defense by Shaq Gillis on Simmons, but Adams just can't get the rebound. Joel Embiid steals it. Now Bradley Beal, we're going to look to go to some of these playmakers. And Blake Griffin with the shot. Beautiful um, touch there on that shot. Now here's a steal from Steven Adams. That's huge. Griffin, we're going to play playmaking point out uh, over to Beal in the corner off of CB3. Cannot get it to go, but CB3 gets the rebound outside of Blake Griffin. You know, we got to go back to him or Bradley Beal. We're going to try to get Beal involved. Has not been really a go-to scorer, but he's going to get the green light here. And uh, be great play from uh, Beal and uh, Steve Nazar with the great screen. Fortunately, Spice Harris is going to throw that one down. And we're down by one. Now Bradley Beal is going to try to drive on inside. Going to look for Steven Adams. Steven Adams is going to try to get that shot to go. Can't. And but Steven Adams nearly gets the steal. Josh Richards in the other way. It's going to go ahead to Tybal, who... Gets blocked and it goes out of bounds. 76ers ball up by one. We're gonna try to get, you know, we're not gonna foul or anything. Although I could foul Simmons, but we're just gonna see how this plays out, this possession, because we do, you know, the shot clock is, is still on. So they're going to spot Tobias Harris. Uh, four, three, two, try to get out the contest. Not a really good job there on the defense, but we're gonna head to run a transition. Bradley Beal is gonna find Blake Griffin. We have the size in this match, but instead we're gonna find Chris Paul. He's wide open. Please hit it. Please, he does. CB3 with a potential game winners. We're up by one. We just gotta play some good defense on offense. Or, yeah, defense while the 76ers are on offense. And they're going to Tybal. And now Tybal out to Richardson, who fires it outside to Simmons. They're going to try to run a little pick and roll action with uh, Joel B. Now Simmons is going to look for Embiid in the post. I'm trying to help there. We're going to leave Simmons open. 2 1. Simmons from way outside does not get it to go. 87% contested. Great job by Blake Griffin there. And we win this first game with this uh, stacked team by one. Uh, we did play a really good team though, and that's without Hal Horford, and Horford's you know, a great player as well, so I can see he's twisted uh, knee day-to-day, -day. so we definitely could have played in this game, thankfully he didn't, because otherwise Griffin would have not done as well either, so um, yeah, it depends if you know Horford came off the bench or started the four, however that went, but uh, yeah, kind of a really rough game for us, did not get a whole lot to go our way offensively or defensively, as we take a look at Matthias Thibel, 11 points per game. And look at his ratings. Look at his ratings. 68 from three, 68 from three point. He is a defender. He was not, when I was looking at the drafting reports and stuff, because I'm like, oh, a guy from Washington. I like Washington. He's not supposed to be a shooter. He's three or four from downtown, 69 from the field, two or two from the free throw line. This guy could play like amazing diva. He did it all. I'm like, this guy is not Victor Aldebo or something. You know what I'm saying? So, shot chart. 
team comparison, all that good stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys are ready for the next episode with this team, go ahead, drop a like the video, subscribe for more content. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.